All right, another box arrived this week, this time from Wheel Collector. Surprise, surprise, I seem to get something from them every week. And um, this is Greenlight, and I wanted to show you the Greenlight models that I, that I got, and then we're gonna finish with a, a little showcase right at the end of the video. On one of these models, if you've read the blog, you probably know which one it is. But this is the Black Bandit series, and you'll notice that's a cutoff card. I ask Wheel Collectors to do it, so I can sh uh, save on a little shipping. They can pack everything very compactly. Considering I'm having stuff shipped all the time, it just uh, saves a little space and, and I open these things anyway. And considering how hard it is to open these dumb things with the plastic and you're cutting your hands and everything else, I'm more than happy to have them start it for me. Um, so, anyway, wanted to show off the Black Bandit models and that came of a couple other of the green light models. This one is pickup heavy and there's some real doozies in there. Starting with that one, that's the 72 Chevrolet C10 pickup. Um, with uh, with a little camper on it, which I really, really like. Um, there's another classic truck, the 63 Dodge D100. Now, I apologize, these are black. It's hard to show all the details on these, but that's the whole point of the series, I think, right? So, um, we'll do some photographs on these and post them on the blog as well. But uh, there, there's the pickup, and the third pickup is a more modern one, and one that I think just like the... Uh, in every series we're going to start seeing this one a lot which is the 2015 Chevy Silverado um, 1500 here I'll, I'll give it a pause here so you can take a look at it um, fairly new casting but we're going to see a lot of that I believe uh, a couple others here in the Black Bandit series that are not trucks the 73 VW Type 2 Westphalia um, again, I what I love about Greenlight is the style, is that they'll add the camper, um, they'll add on the top, on the back, they'll do the West Folly version, I love the hitch and tow. It's these kind of details that make this series, or make Greenlight, I think, really kind of hit, I think they're hitting their stride right now with all these small little details. So love that VW with the camper, even in black, and then here's just kind of, uh, just kind of nitty gritty right down there alley green light which is a muscle car and it's the Monte Carlo also in black speaking of the Monte Carlo that black version is nice but here's a more realistic version I think this is a hobby only um, a hobby only version and our hobby dealer only you can only get it through hobby dealers so this one's available at wheel collectors the link is below and so go there and you can find this one at a really good price so you're not going to find that one in storage. So find the Black Bandit series if you want to hold out for it but um, considering Wheel Collectors has been uh, has been pricing these nicely I would uh, I would highly suggest getting it from them but that's a, a more realistic version of the Monte Carlo in black with the red trim uh, that's what they've always looked like on the road Another hobby exclusive one that I love that came from Wheel Collectors is the Airstream Bambi. I have a friend who just restored one of these. Got really lucky finding it. Maybe one of these days I'll go up and photograph it. Um, it's up in Heber, Utah, near Park City. Um, but this is absolutely gorgeous. I love the wheels on it. This one's definitely going into the collection. Um, really happy to see it. There's one other Black Bandit that I haven't shown, and so we should probably get to that. And that is the one that's already been super popular. The 2015 Nissan GTR R35. And yes, I already took it out of the package. I got a little too excited, so we'll get rid of that and we'll put the car right there. Move the camera and we'll center in on it a little bit. Again, it's all black, so it's hard to make out the details. That's why we're going to pause and move over to the Lamley Studio. The problem with shooting a black model is that they are black. And trying to get the detail in them is very difficult. I mean, I take that green light GTR out and I put this Matchbox model in. And all of a sudden, it makes a little more sense. Or I take that one and add this bright, brighter Matchbox model. And you can make out a lot of the detail. But, trust me, 
this one looks really, really good. And it's all about the silhouette, right? So look at that silhouette, look at the spoiler, look at that front hood. Now take a look at what I think is the best replica of the Nissan GTR, the Tomica Limited Vintage. And yes, there's a little more detail here, the red trim for the Nismo, the calipers, uh, the brake calipers, the high spoiler, so on and so forth. But when you consider what Tomica Limited Vintage can do, and you look at what Greenlight did, I think it's safe to say that that's a really nice version. And considering it's, you can buy it for what, $4.99, $5.99, something like that. Um, I think that that is a very nice option. So um, that is the Black Bandit green light Nissan GTR. I think it's really well done. Let me see if I can even get even closer in on it. Maybe you can make out some more of the detail. That's about as close as I can get uh, right now. But uh, I think that's pretty darn good. And uh, I think that's a car that's definitely worth getting along with the others. We'll definitely photograph the others here soon. Um, and showcase them on the blog. So look for that. Talk to you later.